I consider myself to be a small creator here on YouTube with just over 12,000 subscribers. However, I did gain the majority of those 12,000 subscribers in 2023, although I started my channel back at the end of 2020. So if you're an aspiring YouTuber or content creator, or whether you're just curious about how much YouTube actually pays smaller creators on this platform for my given niche, which is tech and product management, keep watching. A bit of background on this channel. First and foremost, this is my fifth YouTube channel. Previous channels that I've had over the last seven to eight years have been on various other topics, including remote working, remote working vlogs, fixed iPhone screens and had commentary over that, some DIY and sort of artsy crafty stuff around the house. And I had one where I documented my running journey and my marathon training plan. So I've really tried it all, but all of those channels just stemmed from my hobbies and my interests and I just documented that. But they never really got anywhere. And I think there are some reasons for that. I probably wasn't all that serious about it. I really wasn't consistent. And yeah, all in all, I just don't know if I really gave it long enough to even see those channels blossom because I was so scared of what people would think. But back in November 2020, and specifically on November the 7th, 2020, I posted my first video on this channel. This video stemmed from my TikTok account, which I started during the pandemic. And then I also found a problem whereby I was getting asked questions on my TikTok account, which I couldn't really answer properly in a 60 second TikTok. So I decided to answer those via a longer form video on YouTube. And I think it was late November, where I posted my first long form video here on this channel. When I did start this channel back in November, 2020, I didn't really have any big plans for it. I think I did want to give it a really good go because I had good success with my TikTok and this just seemed like a natural way to extend my content, but I didn't really have any kind of plan for myself in terms of how much time I would put into it, how consistently I would post, or any goals around how much I wanted to grow. I kind of just kind of just went with it. Then at the start of 2022, I started taking this channel a bit more seriously. I set some goals for myself, which I hit. And then at the start of 2023, I got even more serious and intentional about growing it. And I started seeing it as an investment for myself for the long term. And that's definitely still what I see it as. And I will share my 2024 goals for this channel right at the end of this video. Now let's talk about growth and numbers in 2023. So in 2023, I have posted 29 videos, which includes 12 long form videos like this one and other videos which kind of show up like a short video, but they're longer than one minute. And I have posted 33 shorts and I believe shorts are anything that is less than 60 seconds. So all in all, I have posted 62 times in 2023. Now from the start of this channel in November, 2020, it took me 14 months to hit a thousand subscribers. So in January, 2022, I hit 1000 subscribers. I don't know if that is good, like if it's fast or if it's slow, I think it really depends on your topic, your niche, on how frequently you're posting and probably other factors outside of your control but I wasn't really intentional about what I was doing for probably half of that 14 months. So when I did get very intentional and I set a goal for myself, I did quite quickly reach that 1000. And then it took me another seven months to actually monetize this channel and be accepted into the YouTube partner program. So in August, 2022, I started making money for the first time ever on this channel. I've got my laptop here, so I'm gonna walk through some of my analytics. As I mentioned, I have gained the majority of my subscribers in 2023. Almost 8,000 of my current 12,000 came from this year. Pretty consistent gain in followers through the months. I have a few peaks. Uh, I think on uh, the highest a subscriber gain day, I had 49 in October. Another day, it looks like I had 44, but again, there aren't any big dips in subscriber gain count. So I'm overall really happy with that. And regardless of if I was or wasn't posting, 
audience has continued to grow because of older videos that continue to get discovered. Now let's get into the dollars because I know that is why you clicked on this video. Before I get into 2023, I just wanna show you how much I made in the first few days of monetizing my channel. So on day one, I made $0. Day two, I made $1.63. This is all US dollars, by the way. And then day three, $1.27. $2.14, so on and so forth. And then on one magical day last year, I did make $7.19. But yeah, that's a quick recap on 2022. But let's get into 2023 ad revenue. In case you're curious, my RPM is $11.57 for the year, which I don't think is terrible. The higher end of an RPM is usually like $30 to $40 and way lower is like $3 to $4. So I think Hovering around the $12 mark isn't too bad at all for my topic and my niche. Now my overall ad revenue trend for 2023 is quite similar to the view count. So as you can see, it's kind of hovering in between that maybe $6 to $12 range. And I've had a few spikes. My highest earning day in 2023 bought me in $18.78. And my lowest was probably around yeah, a dollar or just just over one dollar. But overall, I'm happy with this because there are no big declines. And while there's no exponential growth, I'm okay with that as well because I think the exponential growth should be relative to how much effort and content I'm putting out. And I definitely didn't put out as much long form content that I knew would have a really long shelf life and would do really well as I should have. A quick month to month for 2023. In January, I made $85.23. February, I made just a little bit shy of $100, having made $99.50. March, we spiked up a bit. And in fact, we almost doubled. We doubled February to $189.20. Stayed pretty consistent in April. A slight increase in May with my first $200 month, having made $209.98. Dropped down again to just below the 200. And then my highest paying month of 2023 was August, where I made $244.45. However, interestingly, August to October, which you can see here, where I found my new average being around 200 and I would say $230 a month, is actually when I posted the least out of the entire year. But that was interesting to me that my revenue kind of stayed. And again, I think that's because of my previous videos I had posted that just kept doing really, really well. And then we declined a little bit in November and December is not yet over. So this is probably gonna average out to, I think just below 200 as well. And the grand total for 2023 YouTube ad revenue was $2,149.27. There are two really interesting observations I've made about my content over the last year that I wanted to share with you. And this is gonna be helpful, especially if you have an educational type of channel or you're looking to create an educational type of channel. But the first is that the videos that are my best performing videos, whether that is number of views, top earning content, or just pure longest shelf life are the videos where I have something tangible to either give the viewer, whether it's a downloadable template or I'm walking through and sharing my screen with like a document or something, or it is a, a diagram that I'm drawing, but I'm like sharing my screen again and we are jointly drawing and working through something together. So I have a visual aid. And I think that makes sense because my content is mostly educational and it's much better to show someone something rather than just talk to them and, and talk at the camera. So I think that makes sense. And I really need to lean more into that because I know the content that does well because the analytics is telling me, the feedback and the comments is telling me, and just my understanding of the product management and tech space tells me that this is a big gap. So I'd need to lean into that a little bit more. And the second observation I wanna share with you is actually around my number one highest viewed video, which is a bit of a surprise to me and I'm trying to figure it out. So 
I typically post videos about product management, working in tech, startups, a little bit of productivity, some vlogs, a bit of organization. Now this video that is my highest viewed video of all time, it's currently got 160,000 views, is a short video called my morning planning routine. And it is my 10 minute life changing morning routine, which I on a whim reposted from my TikTok account one day. And the really interesting thing about this is one, it doesn't really relate to the main niche of my channel, but the views on this video are like exponentially increasing as the months go by and I cannot figure out why. So when I first posted it, you can see that it nothing was really happening for quite a while. And then especially in the middle of 2023, it really started taking off. And I found this really interesting and I'm thinking what I need to do is lean into this as well because it is a topic I'm interested in. It's not something I want to base my entire channel niche around, but if I can see that people are searching for it and it's doing well, maybe I should lean into that. So yeah, just something I wanted to share that sometimes content that you don't intend for to do well does well and content that you think will do really well doesn't do well. To end off with, I wanna share my goal for 2024 for this channel and it's quite straightforward. My goal is to post one video every single week as a non-negotiable and that does not include short form videos by the way, it is long form videos. Whether I am sitting here talking to you, teaching you something, sharing a resource, doing a demo, walking through a document, it is a long form video, once a week, non-negotiable. Focusing on that consistency and that system that I create for myself, I will see results in the form of hitting certain subscriber counts or perhaps even doubling the AdSense revenue that I'm making and who knows what other opportunities may come my way. Making a YouTube channel has been by far one of the most rewarding things I have ever, ever, ever done. And if you're still watching this, and you found this video a little bit interesting, I'm going to assume that you've also considered starting a channel, but there is a high likelihood that you haven't yet done it. So do yourself a favor and use this as a sign to finally do it. It could be the best investment you ever make in yourself, in your career. You don't know the opportunity that can land in your lap by simply publishing content online about things that you're interested in. You don't need to have a niche. You are your niche. You are interesting enough. You don't know the people you might meet just because you start posting on YouTube. You don't know the opportunities that might come your way in years to come just because you start posting on YouTube. You don't need a grand plan, just try it. You might even learn that it's not for you, but hey, that's great because you've eliminated that thought and you can move on to the next thing. But with the way the future of careers is going, the way that businesses are built these days, the way opportunities can be created for yourself these days, and just the way in which the world is now moving. If you've had the inclination to do this, it would be really silly not to act on it. It's not too late. Think of it as a long-term investment. Do it for the long haul and you'll get rewards along the way. It might not be in the form of money, it might not be in the form of views, that you will find something out of the process of coming up with ideas, filming, editing, posting, engaging. And that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you so much if you got this far. If you do start a channel because you watched this video, please link that channel down below because I'd love to go and check it out. That's all I have for now. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.